Hey guys, check out what I bought. So I was hanging out in uh, Little Tokyo and I found, like, just browsing around over in uh, Anime Jungle and I found uh, these uh, little uh, mecha girls and I, I don't know, they were really cheap at like, like 10 and a couple of dollars and I got really interested so I went home, I went online and I looked them up. Uh, these are 30 Minute Sisters. It's a kit that came out like uh, two years ago, 2021 I think, um, which as you can see it's a Bandai type of thing. And looking it up, I'm not really into um, to Mecha or, or Mecha Girls, it's just not, not really my thing, um, but that's okay. What's cool about these is not only can you like customize them into their little mecha suits, but they also go with 30 minute missions, which is, you know, the actual like gunpla and they're the robots, uh, essentially. Um, but anyway, I saw these, uh, I went online and looked up and you get a couple, a bunch of different, um, like types you can get for them. So they can be like typical girls and... Uh, anyway, so uh, I went and I found uh, Richette, which is uh, one of the main series girls. I think there's three. There's uh, another blonde one, and then uh, Lucille or Luce or whatever. She's the one I wanted, but uh, they didn't have uh, the the sites that I looked. They didn't really have her at uh, a very good price. They were like fifty dollars. No, me, don't play with that. Um, so, uh, but I found a Richette at, for like, I think 30 bucks for, for, for the set, including shipping, and then, uh, these extra pieces for 10 bucks a piece. These are, so it's a little bit weird because these are just the arms and an additional faceplate, and then these are just legs, <laughs> and these are, hold on, no. This is just the torso. This is the arms, legs, hands, and faceplate. This is just the torso. So uh, at first I was like, oh, these are really cheap at like 10 bucks. And then I realized, oh, wait, no, you gotta, it's, it's 20 bucks. You gotta drop $20. I see what they did. I see you, Bandai, and your little tricks. So, um, <laughs> so it was about, uh, this was like 25 something plus these two were about 10 bucks each so I spent a total of like $47 uh, with shipping so um, I need to get my clips let's open these up and uh, start popping them out yeah so as I mentioned before this uh, set is the SIS G00 Richetta color A um, color A pertaining particularly to the skin type um, so I believe I said before that there were, uh, three, uh, at the beginning, one with type A, type B, and then type C coloring. Type A, I believe, is a mid-tone, type C is a light tone, and then, no, B is a light tone, is a, a lighter tone, and then type C is a dark tone. So if you're planning on buying any additional accessories or additional arm, leg, body parts, you got to keep in mind what colors you're getting. Otherwise there, you're going to see a, a pretty decent, pretty decent difference in, in skin tone. Um, unless you're looking for that. I don't know. Maybe your girls have tan lines. I'm not going to judge. I know that was like a big thing in, um, in the late nineties, like every other anime that you saw, if there was a swimsuit episode, there was always one girl who had like a really weird tan line. I don't know why that's a thing. I don't know if that is still like uh, a moe thing, but um, well, there you go. <laughs> uh, so I originally used uh, those little nippers on the side to cut um, a bunch of these in half. You didn't need to do that. And I kind of wish I would have read the instructions before I like jumped into it because the instructions say right on the first page, oh, you just need to bend and snap. No problems, just snap them out. 
even the even these little pieces you really do just need to like snip snip and they're they're all good i will say though that uh if you have a set or if you don't have a set of um figma nippers i would highly recommend um uh, buying like a decent one because these little these guys are a little bit smaller than uh, i'm used to working with so there were pieces that pieces of plastic that kind of stayed in I could always sand them later and I might just do that but um, you you shouldn't have to um, so the the nips that I have are like you know, I use them for for art and and snipping wire I would not recommend using that for <laughs> for these dudes but it's my first time okay I'm I'm learning as much as everybody else uh, I made a couple of, of mistakes here and there, but not that many. I think the biggest difficulty is like, this is this being my first time ever making something like this. Um, it really was just me kind of being paranoid and making sure that everything is set very, very correctly. But looking in, you can see, um, sometimes you'll see little pointer arrows. And if you try to put something in backwards, it most likely won't fit. So even if like you lose the instructions or you can't read the instructions, you can you can pretty much figure out what needs to go where and fixing it isn't particularly difficult. Uh, there was an issue with the hands. Not really an issue, but the way that they bend is not the same as like uh, an articulated doll that I'm used to um, where all you have to do is if you want the hand to move up you just need to move it up if you want it down you move it down if you want to turn it and pull it to the side you can do that the way the pegs work here I feel like you really need to have them in a very particular position the pegs need to be in a in a very good position in order for the hands to move um, and the hands very easily pop out <laughs> Uh, and it's kind of a kind of an issue for me because um, I've done like 3d puzzles and, and you know some assembly toys like nendroids and stuff like that and once you get something in they they stay in it's it's, it's pretty tricky for them to fall out unless it's like you know a really shitty um, peg that pulls them up because are some of them are just really bad but like I playing or maneuvering this doll, this mecha, <laughs> stuff seems to like come off easier when you try to like move them. You can't really turn them as well. So that's, that's too bad. Um, so here I'm working on the legs and I, <laughs> I got them backwards. So you really need to kind of pay, but it, they fit fine, but you really need to pay attention um, regarding those legs because I did get them backwards, but they work, they looked like they worked fine either way. Um, and I'm not gonna notice or, or fix these until, until later. And I apologize for that, but um, I don't have a high res camera recording this, so y'all can't even tell. <laughs> or if you can, then you're definitely more of an expert than I am so <laughs> I believe that's it I might have dropped a, a piece here and there if you see any moments of just like nothing of no movement it's either me getting the cat off of the table or I dropped a piece somewhere <laughs> and I had to get up and find it uh, so I would say be careful if you need to open anything back up or pull anything apart Cause those little dudes they can really fly like they can really fly i i think i almost lost an eyeball once or twice f with uh <laughs> with some of these hands and some of these joints that i had to re apply and drop and find <laughs> it happened like a hundred times but uh i got it in the end Ooh, okay so that definitely took more than 30 minutes and this is just the base model <laughs> So here you can see her her sweet little face uh she looks pretty neat she's really she's very light too um as you can see i had some trouble with the 
the hands I don't get. I'm having some trouble with them. I feel like like maybe that's uh, a point that needs to be corrected a bit. I don't know, or maybe I just need to get used to to moving them around. <laughs> Sorry, this is like my this is my first like actual like model. I don't think I don't know if this counts as gunpla. Um but it's my first my first ever one. <laughs> And I do already, like, uh, you don't, ha as you can see, she's already got, like, her face. There's some blank ones you can buy some slide decals for. And I already kind of want to, like, customize her a bit. I want to, like, paint some stuff. Um, but before we get to that, we're not completely done. Like I said, this is the base model. So let's start working on um, her armor mode here so we can get this cool, like, Tiger chick gone and, and ready to go. So the armor parts of this wasn't really as I guess extensive as I as I thought they would be. Um, I apparently had the legs on backwards, which you can see here uh, that I'm fixing right now. I don't know how I got them backwards. I think because when you know, you assemble just like standstill figures, any holes or openings, they uh, either look to the um, median part of the body or to the back of the body. And these actually had holes that were supposed to look to the front because those two little gray pieces were supposed to be added, added there and I just didn't do it. <laughs> um, and for the rest of this, it's pretty straightforward. Um, the only difference between the little rings to the left and the ring she's wearing now are the little pegs that the armor attaches to. The armor has additional holes to the side so you can attach even more armor. That's an additional $10. So if you want like the full set of this dude, it's, it, she's actually about $40 if you want like what they call the speed set, I think. Um, and this is where I figured out, oh, not only did I get the legs backwards, I think I got the arms backwards as well because those damn knives didn't, the arm blades on the back, they just didn't want to fit. So I took them apart like four times trying to figure out how I, how I got them backwards. But I figured it out in the end, you know, as you do. And here you can see, like, I have the instructions out. I thought I had a good reading comprehension, but apparently I don't, you guys. Like, I already knew I was an idiot. But I didn't think that I was, like, this level bad. I, I, I need to go back to school or something. I really do. But, uh, anyway. I'm not even, ha I don't even have her in the camera. I'm sorry. I just got kind of frustrated a little bit with that at the end. But, again, I figured it out. Somehow. Okay, here she is. Full armor mode. Which... I mean, it's fine. Rar. <laughs> She's really, she really is cute in her her own little way. I think these extra uh, holes that you have here, you can buy like um, additional accessories for her, so that she um, is even more fierce. Uh, but the site that I was on, they didn't. Uh, they didn't have that, so <laughs> uh, unfortunately I couldn't get like the super like tiger fighter thing. Um, but you can, I've seen them. It looks real cool. This is this I think is just like the skeleton part of it because the rest of it is like this really cool, this really cool orange tiger creature. And I mean I like her. She's really cute. The only she comes apart pretty easily though. I'm not sure if that's supposed to happen um, because these are, you know, they're supposed to be able to take them apart and put them together in uh, 30 minutes or less and again this definitely took more than 30 minutes. <laughs> I got confused in certain spots. Um, but aside, oh yeah, see right here. Here's the photo of like the, the speed armor I think is what it's called. So, like, it looks way cool, and I really want it, but, um, 
gonna have to wait uh, until I can find one at a decent price. And you can change her her face, her hair. Uh, if you get a like slight water slide decals, you can um, use that to change her face. And I think you can even use them to like customize the sides here. And she's she's really cute for the price that I paid for like the whole. This was what a thirty dollar kit, give or take. Not bad. I've seen stuff upwards of like $60. So this works for me. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a stand for her. I honestly thought that this would come with just like a cheap, like a little, like a little one like that or something, but nope, no stand. Um, but we're not done yet, my dudes, because we have a whole, uh, additional parts so um let's clean up this mess and uh see what else we can see what else we can create okay if i'm gonna be honest i actually chose this before i chose richetta <laughs> like i picked the optional body part i looked through it and thought oh my god this outfit is so cute it's like i thought it was like just a swimsuit but i guess it doesn't really matter what it is um it was cute and looking at it and seeing all the details that's when i realized oh i'm gonna need to buy a whole set of arms and legs in order to make this damn thing so i had to add that to my cart and then i thought wait this is just the torso, some blank faces, and then I'm buying the arms and legs. I can't do that without like hair and stuff. And every single site that I went to that sold hair parts were like maybe $40, $50. And I thought, why is this so expensive? Expensive when it's just hair parts and then I looked closer and almost all of them were sold out so <laughs> Those go by really quickly. So if you're getting into this um, Type of model and you see like a hair option available for I don't know, maybe 40 30 dollars or under maybe go for it because these things they're They're only like two years old and they're already like sold out on every other site that I've been to unless you want to buy them used and everything used is it's scalped a little bit um, so that's when I decided you know what I might as well buy an original the first, one of the first original sets and that's how I picked out Richetta just because I wanted this outfit so I wanted a uh, Lulus but I also wanted this outfit I think I wanted the outfit more I'm like you know what I'll just get uh, Richetta because she'll match this outfit and I can exchange and then if I really like what I have, then one day, Lulu's will be mine. She's on my list. She's like this, the next one that I want. I already want to buy more <laughs> because uh, I have an addictive uh, personality and I like to hyper fixate on silly little random things. And this is my current obsession. Um, I'm doing really good though. Now that I take meds, I don't obsessively have to purchase every single thing. I have the ability to wait before I buy something now until I'm set for, you know, food and bills and rent. Um, but anyway, uh, I after working on this part, I actually kind of started to understand why it was called uh, the It's a 30 Minute Series. Um, once you kind of figure out each piece, it actually goes together rather quickly and they fit more or less like a puzzle. You just have to be uh, aware of how it's supposed to go, um, how it's supposed to move and whatnot. Uh, so now you see me actually working on the torso part. I pretty much popped everything out, but for that um, kind of lighter blue, I decided to wait until I bought a proper set of um, model nippers because I just did not want to damage I, I can't remember the word for it when something is um, not as opaque uh, like you can see through it um, so I decided to hold off on on messing with that particular set for now and just stick with uh, you know the matte style 
of the uh, torso and uh, not worry about any of the rings because the rings were, were all like that. Um, but once I put her together, it was, it was a lot faster than the last one, that's for sure. <laughs> so let's have a look, I guess. She, she, she came in pretty easy. I'm pretty happy with her. And uh, here she is with her uh, new torso and hand and body parts, which are actually pretty cool. I really like this, uh, this subtle, I don't know if it's supposed to be like underwear or swimsuit or what, but I like the whole reason I bought it is because I thought it was super cute and it totally is. And now it comes with these um, extra parts here. I think these are just joint parts, so the circular bits, you know, you can put in, on her legs, I guess, if you want that, I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, um, and I guess these would probably be good, because there's a whole bunch of other, um, girls, not just, like, the, the main three that I mentioned, I just don't know what their names are, um, but there's, like, a, a water-based one, and It doesn't even have to be like the whole bits, just like the parts. And I'm thinking you could probably move a few things around here and there. Like, I don't know the actual extent of, of these guys, but <laughs> it might not work completely. But, uh, it worked interestingly, I guess. Hold on. Oh, I guess I can. Torso is torso, unless I want to, like, bust everything apart. I don't want to do that. But I do want to just see what exactly are the limits here. I don't think there are any. So, I mean, I guess if you're creative, you should be able to, well, I guess this doesn't work because that's what the whole, this whole bit is for, but, I mean, creative wise, I, you can probably figure it out, I don't want to break her or anything, I'm just kind of, this looks actually really kind of cool, it's just too bad with the, Bits don't work that way exactly. Yeah, this, this is more. Hold on. We're having fun here. <laughs> uh, let me see if I can. We're just experimenting here. So I guess not everything will fit, but I mean, doesn't mean you shouldn't try. You never know. You never know. I'm just gonna put everybody back to uh, to their main dudes. But this was this is cute. I, I do wanna I wanna get more. <laughs> Uh, like I said, the, the Lucille or Lulus or whatever, her, I can't remember her, her name, but she's uh, option type C. She has brown hair, but her outfit is uh, white instead of black, and she just has the cutest face, and I want her. That's the one that I want the most, so um, maybe I'll get her. Maybe I won't. Uh, I just wanted to show off to you guys my new toy. Uh, I don't know if this will become an actual obsession. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. This again, this was fun. Uh, I might actually, cause you can buy like different hair parts and stuff. So if I just get another, the problem is like everyone that I saw, they're like in sets of five that are like upwards of another 30 freaking dollars. <laughs> so it's like, ugh, what can I do? Um, but shoot, I'll, I'll look around, see what I can find. Uh, maybe I'll get more things. Who knows? Uh, this is this is fun. I like this. I like this girl. Uh, I am definitely 
going to be buying an actual standee for her so that she can hang out with all my other little guys and I can pose her and hang out with her and she'll be my best friend that's what we do here the reason we buy figures is because we have no friends and we want friends no other reason there's no other reason <laughs> oh! okay so there are a couple of uh bits here that I need to figure out but uh that is going to do for today I need to eat lunch and I need to get ready for uh, my stream. So thank you guys so so much for stopping by. Remember you are loved, you are appreciated, and I am so so happy that you're here on this earth <laughs> figuring out new play toys with me. So until next time my dudes. Matin young. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs>